Hey guys, name's Fem playing some Let's Play Morbid Curiosity. This is a recently released mission, the first mission by one Pukey Brunster. <laughs> Amazing name. And, uh, well, you know, it's version 1.2, there's been a few fixes, so well, let's play it. I have played a little bit of it so far, so I have played a little bit of it so far. I know I'm a horrid, morbid cheater, so let's see here. Uh, Peyton has a letter for you. Well, you know, story's in the description, so you should know who Peyton is. If not, well, <laughs> I'm gonna Peyton an assassin to come and beat you over the head until you get it. Get it? Go get your equipment and don't harm a baby seal or a baby steel, okay? Everything's cool. We're not harming nobody. So, here we begin in the loud... Early morning mist. All respectable people should be in bed now. Time for us disreputable types to get to work. Yeah, I love that line. It's a rare line, don't you know? And I'm gonna just jump over and make sure not to splash, because splashing is loud, and make sure not to bump your head against the switch because you're a ghost. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, there's ropes, but you can't actually climb on them. Now, you may wonder what's over there. Too bad I'm not gonna go over there. First, gotta go over here. Grab keys so that I can pound on them all day, because I recently realized by uh, visiting a person who had a uh, mechanical keyboard, a mechanical keyboard, that they're not nearly as loud as I thought. And actually, this old busted keyboard is probably even louder or just as loud or something. So what I'm saying is I should probably get a mechanical keyboard one of these days. I don't know. Okay, what's going on here? And, and yeah, on expert, AIs are pretty sensitive, so be careful not to hurt their feely wheelies. In, 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 yeah, and so forth, but, uh, I'm just gonna take the key and sequences. Oh. He's running up to tell his comrades. That's, that's a bad idea. Oh. Who oh boy. Who oh boy. Well, it's time to escape through the canal, so. <laughs> no problem. Let's see. Oh, in all waters are treasure first barren childish upon dedication of South Gate Bridge. Unfortunately, it looks like I can't get out here. Although it looks like I might be able to get up, but you see, pounding on the keys and I have no equipment. I've got Peyton's letter. I should probably read that. Underwater sounds like a good idea. Garrett, there's a canal drain under South Gate that leads inside. And from there, you can find a way up to the streets. I'll stash some equipment for you at the Swinging Taffer Inn, which is just to the west of the gate. There is only an attic room available, but likely you would prefer the seclusion anyway. The innkeepers are valuable business partners. Have your fill of drink and fare, but don't harm or steal from anyone staying under their roof, as you will find they are very gracious and discreet hosts. Look for my letter at the inn, Peyton. Okay, then. And there's my gold. So, uh, so yeah, this has been a very bad idea. Also, the keys go into one single keys thing. And it's right at the start of your inventory. That's a valid ass choice and stuff. And that was an awkward thing to say, but you know, hey, whatever. I'm just gonna carry on up here and just kind of ignore every pawn, okay? <laughs> All right. I thought you were. I thought you were along down there with him. I guess not. Okay. No problem. This is what <laughs> we in the business like to call a little safe sandwich, and we all gotta take a bite. It's locked. But taking a bite will unlock it, I'm sure. Creepy donkeys staring, and there should be some loot around here, you know. First, first loot's first. There's some potatoes, potatoes, and potatoes. One of them has a full ellipses, and the other has non-ellipses. There's the parent liver yard and turnsters for hire. Teamsters, turnsters, and then there's some sort of weird, starey girl, which has no apparent relation to, like, anything of the subject, whatever. But, hey, what... No matter. Oh. I think we could be in some trouble here. Yeah, because there's singers. I mean, that's always trouble. I mean, that's the truth, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. So... It's, it's these guys, which is, like, hilarious, right? These guys, you know, these guys, right? The guys who sing about the opera houses and so forth. Except, you know, they're dressed differently. Not like a bum, but rather like a circus performer, so it's it's different. Whose idea was it to arrest these annoying street performers? Their shrill voices are giving me craps. 
file the paperwork and rid us of these musical miscreants at once. In the meantime, I will be upstairs in the sparring room trying to work off all this hostility. The captain, well, at least you're not working it off in a different and uh, sort of mm, self-pollutionary way. <laughs> <laughs> and it even tells you what the key is, although you never get to find out later. But, you know, that's just the trade-off one makes with a keychain. So if you want... Yeah, they can see you through the wall. It's kind of unfortunate. So you can let them out if you want. But, uh, I don't know. It could make for some fun. Hey, you guard, you're going to attack them? Obviously, I mean, they're going to run out into the street and start annoying everybody, but perhaps that's what you want. I don't know. Ah, too late. Okay, I'm actually gonna, yeah. That was a demo, and this thing takes a disturbingly long time to load, even on this sd, so, just saying. And here is the, uh, you know, Cornelius Knickerbocker with his Merry Mutants. <laughs> so, it's all pretty cute. This mission has, uh, a lot of personality, and it looks pretty good, too. Well, I mean, you might think it looks standard-ish right now, but that's because we're inside of a jail. Come on here, it's not... It's, not exactly the fanciest friggin' place ever. Can't put out that torch because I got no equipment at all. So, pity the pity the pity the pity. And uh, just so you know, you cannot open this door with this key. So, it's, it's too bad. We're going to have to come back and open it later. Through some method, I don't really remember what it is. But, like, yeah, I'm sure it's just be great. Now, this this is one of those missions where expert really is expert. Like, this is pretty tough. The, these guys are just walking around here. It's pretty tough because they're walking around. You know, there's a dirty boy. But, you know, everyone was sincere back in these times, so it all just kind of means what it means. I'm so used to having to scroll through my inventory for keys that I keep just starting to do that and then realizing I don't have to. Amazing tastic. So... Yeah, it, there's there's a grog fest, but it's kind of backwards because you know they took the time to write it backwards on the sign on the other side. I mean, it's expensive enough to have to write it out once, but man, these guys they really do the biz. Okay, so what you want to do is go into this grate because we're heading west, as you can recall from the letter. Oh God. Whatever. You, you just. You just leave your stuff to your stuff, okay? I'm going into the sewers, the thief's favorite place, and I'm stuck on the ladder. There we go. Yeah, the thief's favorite place. So this, yeah, I mean, like, I'll let you know when the place I haven't played starts to exist in here. So there's the room with control gates, and it's kind of a funny little puzzle here because there's, like, gates that are closed. It's a puzzle, and there's switches. It's a puzzle. You know, you might be thinking that's not a puzzle. It's just a bunch of switches. Well, you're wrong, so shut up. Uh, would you just keep going through here? And, uh, you know, you can hear some spiders around quietly. And it's very bad news because, as you may recall, we have no equipment. So, so it's a puzzle because you have to kind of go around in a circle. But that's not all because, oh, because, well, there'll be some other stuff to this that I'll tell you about later. But first, got to avoid the arachnids. They have eight okay. legs. <laughs> and I only like dual-legged creatures. <laughs> Anyways, there's the beauty prettiness that comes in. It's purple. It's purple, so you know it's pretty. It's pink, so you know it's pretty. They both start with P. You know, give me a P for Ponyville! Oh my god, I'm referencing the letter P again. That's, that's, <laughs> this is so adorable. Oh, drunk serenading his drunk lady friend, and there's a drunk vomiting because that's the uh, dark underbelly of drunkenness that nobody likes to talk about. And uh, you can kind of climb up places, but it seems like so far it doesn't do much. Also, <laughs> you know, the maiden of the West with one boob showing in the, in the hat, but her boob is very tasteful because it doesn't uh, seem to actually have the uh, the thing on it that needs to be covered up all the time. So here we are. At the, uh... Oh, God. Wow, I'm... 
I'm just doing super well here. Oh, I'm back here. Well, isn't that convenient? I forgot there was a guy walking around over there. Okay, so here we are back here at the Jexberry Garden Shop. Seeds, tools, greenery. No pagan wizardry going on. Certainly not. And yeah, I mean, spoiler, I'm not going to be able to go too many places before I do the first objective here. So let's just go to the place and make sure to avoid walkie walkers. There's a swinging taffer. I thought it meant... But sure, this sign, it's strange because there's a ton of high-res textures, presumably, because the mission is like 500 megs. But this one is not high enough res. Because you can barely read some of this stuff. But anyway, rules of the end. No thieves, fakirs, rogues, or tinkers. Tinkers are the worst. No skulking loafers or flea-bitten tramps. No slap or tickle of the wenches. No banging of tankards on the tables, no dogs allowed in the kitchen, yeah, it's dogs. No cockfighting. Flintlocks, cudgels, daggers, and swords to be handed to the innkeeper for safekeeping. Yeah, this mission has a lot of personality, uh, in the writing. I've noticed that. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's something that I like a lot. So we have to make sure not to beg, steal, or borrow like there's no tomorrow from... These, uh, these guys, yes, I've listened to a Halford solo song, Try Not to Faint. Joke doesn't work there, but hey, you know, this is the back door, and the swinging taffer was obviously inspired by this rope here, and they're like, hey, you can hang somebody from there, but really it's just some sort of industrial machination or something. I don't know. Before I stampede upstairs, let's just head to the bathroom, which is fairly fancy for the day. It's got a semi-modern toilet, but not completely modern. Cigar case, I guess, you know, take one free, get you addicted, so forth. Yeah, it's just like every once in a while somebody's first mission comes along and it's like freaking amazing. So I'll just have some grub since I'm allowed to do that. It does not count as stealing. Just waltz right into the kitchen and get the grub. The grub, grub, grub. And if you want, you can go down here. But, uh, well, you know, it's got, uh, it's got quality apples. Sebastopol sounds like some sort of sleeping drug. Up an atom. Because atoms were definitely a word back then, and you know, it's just like another one of these things. And, and, and there's a rabbit on the atomic box, I'm not sure why. Perhaps it's a joke that I'm missing. Perhaps there was a rabbit called Adam the Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a popular cartoon back in these days. Don't even tell me they couldn't make cartoons back in these days. They had paper, they had pens, they had flip books. Come on, man. You, you can't say nothing. And there's the innkeeper's quarters. Now again, you might be wondering, attic, attic, this kind of maybe looks like something that could be slangly called an attic, but you can't get into any of these doors, so you kind of look around and you're like, oh, what's this, it's a boar's head, I, oh, well, more like I'm bored, oh, and then you finally find this ladder here, and you're like, oh, it's a real, real attic reel. <laughs> it's like, it's, I don't know, I know that's not a thing, you know, a skilled taffer can tell an object from a not object, but... You literally have to crawl through the vents to get to this room. There's not even any other entrance. It's hilarious. Inside at last. <laughs> this is really funny. Like, who does that? Anyways, though, you gotta read the thing before you get to eat a thing. So, let's let's read the thing. Garrett, the priest you're looking for is staying at the Hammerites Abbey to the north. So you should start looking for information there. Be careful. The Red Guard have locked down some gates and are arresting anyone suspicious, so I wasn't able to get all of your equipment. You will need to find a good sword and some rope arrows, but they should be fairly easy to find in your area. With the lockdown, a lot of business is ground to a halt. I need a favor if you have time. Brockwin the Smuggler has some men tailing me. He runs an outfit to the east, the so-called Rogue's Echelon. If you can find out why he is having me followed, I will settle your bill with the innkeepers. Also, swing by Coppernicker Pond to the northeast. The pawnbroker is shrewd and resourceful, but for a fee or favor, he can be very useful in times of need. I'll meet you at the inn tomorrow to pick up any loot you want to fence. Good luck tonight, Peyton. <laughs> I think I finally figured out why that uh, sound is sometimes super loud because you have 48 sound channels and a whole bunch of objectives coming up and I guess they, you know, didn't bother to code in the new dark feature that they didn't put in where it wouldn't do that. Yeah, so anyways, okay, so go get your equipment. Don't harm or steal. 
Get to the Abbey, get a sword, find some rope arrows, find out why the smuggler's spying on your contact. Somehow not optional. Swing by the pawn shop. This town is ripe for picking with 4,000 loot and then return to your room at the end. Okay, so there's our equipment. We got lock picks. And that's it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> lock picks, broadhead arrow, blackjack, broadhead, water. You know, ample amounts of each, so, uh, cool. Okay. I said cool, okay, and you want to really avoid splashing and clacking and doing all manner of things Such as that because guards will hear you and this is a strange Place because you can't really get down here without getting hurt So I guess I won't I'm not sure like is that loot down there that glass? Well, that was only a little bit of hurt, but Still yeah, I'm not oh right because you can you can get into this room. Although, you may recall, we're not allowed to steal, so, you know, uh, we can we can do the standard like, you know, looking over a person in the bed. But we can't steal, because if that happens, then this happens. <laughs> it's, it's pretty nice. I don't know. I thought it was nice. 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 I don't know. This mission just got that sort of certain something. You feel me? Good. Possibly. Some people might call that bad, but those are just post-modernists. Okay? Good. So, now I've got lock picks, so now I can you know, pick a lock and... Listen to that door, you might hear someone going, or something. I don't know, I'm sure it's nothing. So, uh, yeah, she is having the most fun you can have while vertical, so never mind her. It's just a miracle cure for wind <laughs> and poppy tonic. Okay, and they sink through the bed, because I don't know. Uh, so, so <laughs> that's it. So if I wanted to get them again, I guess I can't ever. <laughs> or, or I can. I don't know. Poppy tonic sounds like something useful to sell in the black market, but what the hell do I know? Come on, come on. I don't want to lose that poppy seed thing. Well, it's um. poppy seed, so I guess it's opium. I don't know. Well, like, hmm. Yeah, so the reason I'm, the reason I'm trying to get back to poppy tonic is because um. I read something later that makes me think maybe there's something fun you could do with it. Probably not, but, uh, never mind. I don't want to lose that stuff in the benches, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and there's a dewdrop doll, which I guess we still can't steal. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah, well, you know, who's there? I settled business affairs, so I finally spent some time enjoying the city. Today, I visited the gallery and bought a little doll for my niece at Dayport. Tomorrow, I'll pay the extra money to go on the tour. I've heard there's nothing else like it. All right. Uh, sweet, kindly old fatherly figure. No problem. Too bad I can't pick up the doll. But I guess the existence of it is existence enough. And, you know, I wonder if this does anything different. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, it says something different. Okay, fine. Alrighty, yeah. So, 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 I mean, one wonders if one gets to steal from here later or something, because, you know, you can pick the rooms. Maybe it's just for realism. I don't know. I'm really liking this mission so far, though. Gotta say. I caught a glimpse of that moody captain of the guard today. He was yelling obscenities at his men and threatened to castrate them with some prized sword he has. My, oh my. If he weren't so handsome, I would dislike him very much. Well, I see you've got some good standards for your attractiveness there, no problem, and <laughs> what's in the, oh yeah, the last one is just the one I came into before, this one right here, right? pretty lady, and so forth, well, I'm not Lord Hater, God, it's just such a crime about Wander Over Yonder, right, Pony gets to go on forever, and Wander Over Yonder gets only two seasons, <sighs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's genius, and I'm a Wander Over Yonder hipster, right, I'm not one of those people that just came in with my fair Haiti, hell no, I was there from before the beginning, yeah, back when Craig McCracken's like, yo, I'm making this show with a hippie Muppet man, and I'm like, hell yeah. Another of Peyton's business associates will be staying with us. I agreed at our usual percentage. I've also been asked to see that the councilman's wife sleeps the evening away. Seems he plans to entertain some new friends downstairs. I may be able to use this knowledge to my advantage. I'll swipe a bit of poppy tonic from that lady in room one. Poor thing is a hopeless addict. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe I get to swipe some too. Probably not. But you know, if dude likes knitting, or perhaps it's a woman. I mean, you know, my chauvinistic attitude will not stand in today's insane old place where people constantly try to be like feminists and be like 
good people, but then crazy people on the internet calling themselves feminists, but really are just insane, weird people who hate everything and demand impossible logic also call themselves that, thus ruining the whole thing. It's pretty great. Okay, so now that I got the lockpicks, though, I go down into this place, which is a much simpler way of doing a thing that I did off camera, so yeah. Also, the barrel likes to budge. It's a party animal. Now we're back in the sewers, and we can't get back up, probably, yeah. So we have to go around here. Now, the other way to get to this place... Oh, there's a spider. Yeah, I could try to use my blackjack. I don't know. Dang it. But, but, yeah. Not really worth the bother. If you're asking me. Push the ploosh. <laughs> ploosh sound to me. So, in order to get in here from the other side, you have to sort of fiddle the switches around in some crazy order, which I did, but... And you can do. I did it off camera. I, I can't prove it, but yeah, you can do it. But it's simpler just to come from the other side. So, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And I th think we may be kind of approaching the limits of the place that I have played. Well, not quite yet. Not quite yet, but uh, sort of a little bit. So, oh, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, man. New Dark. Sure is amazing. Mantling. I light a candle and place it up on the mantle. Grab a knife with the handle and stab an orange with the blade and eat it without even peeling it. I'm a bad guy. Hey, just because I didn't come in with the song doesn't mean I don't know the song. It's super catchy. Another thing that's super catchy is Go Go Derby Racers by Speed Wander. <laughs> Wrong on absolutely all counts, but you know, here's... What you might think is a super spooky place has got these empty brick walls, which undoubtedly lead to evil heck. But you'd be wrong. It's actually just a, a plant place. So, you know, never mind. It's not spooky. And yeah, it's, like, it's the place with plants. And the entrance has an elevator that can easily crush its patrons. I love this. This is amazing looking. I mean, uh, uh, pukey Brunster. <laughs> well, yeah. Serious name there, but yeah, has a has a really good sense of it. I don't know what it is, but she has a good sense. It's definitely a she this time. I'm not making a mistake. Somebody called her Karen, and then she said she was a she at some point. I'm sure, and I'm definitely not embarrassing myself like I was with that one dark mod video that we'd all prefer to forget, which is why I'm forcibly reminding everybody. So yeah, not a pagan place. It's the garden shop a pair key. So, there we are, there with the singing dude. If you like seeing dudes, but let's just, you know, check. See if there's anything else useful here. I don't know. It looks like I've got enough waters already, but... Oh. That should do it. Okay. <laughs> there's a rope! <laughs> it's three ropes. Should be more than enough for general purposes. So, I am now decked the heck out. I still don't have a sword. But, uh... Oh, yeah, I guess we're not that close to where I left off. Kind of, maybe. I don't know. If you want a rope up there, you can. You can kind of get to the other side. Which is kind of where I came in. I remember there's a guard, though. Listen for his footsie steps. Uh-oh. There they are. Jeez. I thought I might not have anywhere to hide this time, but... Oh, it looks like... Looks like I will. Uh, I could take this guy out. But do I want to? This is the question of life. I guess I do. Oh. Let's read the score. I had those obnoxious street performers arrested so I could get some quiet around here. Let the other guys in the station deal with them. But now I have to listen to these drunks taking the stage and singing almost as badly as the others did. I should quit this stinking job. Yeah, well, I've quit it for you. So, uh, congratulations and thank you very much. You're pregnant! Uh, by order of the guards, stay out. This is the scene of a crime currently under investigation. Violators will be put to the sword. And... You can't open it, but it says the word sword, so maybe you're supposed to bash the door down. Uh, you can't seem to get in these windows. And not even, not even the standard old key through the window trope is existent here. Not on any of these windows. It's kind of surprising. And as for climbing up, I tried that, and it doesn't seem to be any way you can do that either. There's a corner hardware sign, which nobody can see ever. I guess he really, really didn't want to advertise, but was forced to by those darn old Democrats regulating 
the lack of advertising and making you have to advertise. Oh, 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 oh yeah, that's just the same place, but there's some sort of broken clock or something there. I, I don't know. Some sort of evil machine. But now that I've got lockpicks, I think I'll do, you know, what I said and, uh, Oh, hang on. It's the wrong place. What I said and just kind of go through this gate. But, you know, you can't be in view of anybody, even if you're in shadow, with arrows. You have to, even if they're looking at you in plain dark shadow, if you fire an arrow, they'll start screaming and running. Can't be having that. Oh, 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 oh. No. In no way can we go to Walmart. So more here now and I could pick this lock if I choose be careful about it though and then I'll open up the way cuz it's game design oh I'm sorry I just mentioned something out of the game I've never done that before in this episode shit I definitely alerted him now he clanked do I have a flash bomb or anything yeah, expert is tough. I kind of like that, you know? I mean, obviously I'm... Seems clear. Obviously I'm, you know, not that much of an expert because I should probably try Iron Manning, Ironing Man, a mission on video that would probably be not at all entertaining and also I would have to do it a, a bunch of times in a row to, to get anywhere. But yeah, there's two, maybe even three guys walking around here and they don't give you much space. It's kind of spicy. Uh, and I like it, yeah. Just, same. Where is... Where's the other guy? He's nowhere. I don't see him. Okay. Oof. Oh, yeah. I've got water arrows. I... I forgot. Oh, but they're not even... Oh. They're like electric or something. Well, not quite, but probably not arrowable. <laughs> Sneeze averted the manual way. Okay. Yeah, just... Dang it! Where the hell did that guy come from? There's like some... He's over there. Is he stuck in a pillar? That's crazy talk. Oh well. Okay. Just... Also, there's this sewer grate. I guess I forgot to go in there. Oh yeah, that actually just leads back to the... The first place, the top of the first place where I said you couldn't get up there. You know, like in the sewers, you, you know, like, bruh, bruh, bruh. it leads there. In an inarticulate, garbled manner of speaking. Oh, man. Dang it. Gotta be more careful. I think that guy might be stuck or stopped or something, because he's just kind of weirdly I don't know what's going on over here, but yeah, by that pillar there. I... I don't know. He stopped. That could be an opportunity for old Garrett. Yeah, I think he is stuck. How unfortunate. Well, you know, that sort of thing just happens, but now... I'm kind of in trouble. And a thief is a complete stranger to being in trouble. He doesn't know what to do when it happens. Go away. Stop stepping! <laughs> Oh, okay. I think maybe there's only two dudes in here then. Seems, seems these townsfolk don't care about me carrying a body. Just convenient. Alrighty. Okay. There we go. Now, you may wonder, why the heck am I going back in here? Well, it's because I have lockpicks. I, that's, yeah. That's the thing you gotta do that I just remembered. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know if there's anything special that happens if you let those singers out. I don't know if there's anything special when you let those singers out. I'm just, just saying. Okay, but let's go in here. I've already forgotten. Oh yeah, no, wait, I remember. It's some it's some stairs. Spoiler. Okay. There's some great ambiance up in here. But it only plays some of the time. So there's the captain's office, and we can't get in there either, because it's one of those missions. Yeah. Actually, I'm not going to go here first. I'm going to go here first, because it's into somebody's bedroom, and y'all know... Y'all know what my fetishes are! Okay, but seriously. Some little lockers. I'm sure there's just some cards and nothing else in here, but... Oh, what have we? It's a switch! 
I guess I played more than I thought. <laughs> I end up getting into thief missions when they're good. It's crazy. But, uh, but yeah. I love the going up, down, and around this, and the secretness, and the ness, 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 ness of this place. Every letter of the alphabet gets, gets a ness at the end except one, because that would be filthy. I thought that was going to be turning out to be like a more amusing joke than it was, but it turns out it wasn't a joke at all. This dragon is sort of like turning a guy around backwards, sideways, I don't know, that's what dragon fetishes are. You just can't judge species, because animals are pretty depraved. If by depraved you mean like, you know, animals. They're, they're, they're cute, and you just gotta accept them for who they are, because there's literally nothing else you can do! So that's why people are just like, oh ho ho, puppy dogs. They're rather disgusting, but hey. Here's a guy letting off some steam, and if I, if I want, there's, there's a vent up, up there. But I can't actually get to it. Just letting you know. So let's just go back and go down on the regular floor. For some reason, this doesn't count as something. I'm pretty sure none of these wall things count either. Actually, I don't think I need to be quiet. That guy seems distracted enough. So yeah, sometimes, sometimes the sound propagation is good and lets you not get screwed over another time. Over there. Oh God. I... Okay. Well, it must have been nothing. Wow, that's inconvenient. Well, never mind. I guess I won't be snatching his arrow. Got enough arrows already. And I don't think I ever need to come back in here, so... And let's just never mind all of that stuff. You may be wondering, Finn, when are you going to end this video? Because you should never end it, because I don't like when you end videos. And I'm like, well, good luck for you that I'm not ending it just now, because that's a bleeding... Generator. It's bleeding particles, but it's it's better than bleeding dust. Probably. I don't know. Dust can come in particles, but what the hell? possibly not digitally, though. <laughs> dust, by definition, is is never digital. So if you got a computer program that generates it, you're wrong and unscientific. And you know, we have to wait 50 more years for everyone to realize that it actually is scientific because science tends to kind of become a bit of a religion and it's supposed to be based on empiricism and stuff, but then... Oh, did I not take care of you? But then people end up going like, oh, here's a bunch of things which are a priori not scientific because I say so and there's nothing under the elevator. Not even going to show you. And then, uh, you know... We end up finding out that it is, and it's pretty great. But, okay, yeah. So, uh, so Angryman is angry here, and it's the captain's key, and I, and I need his key. And I'm, and I'm even gonna put it out him out his misery, because he kind of looks like a, a bug with a bunch of therabdomens. Yes, I could use some target practice. Therabdomens, and yeah, you can, you can target the practice if you want. And there's the vent, and I don't have a sword. Yeah. And up here, you know, there's a vent leads directly into that place, which is kind of strange, because you can't it fall down without getting hurt. I mean, maybe if there was a vent and you had a vine arrow or something, but yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of strange. Never y'all mind that. <coughs> Guess I'll accept that as well. But we have the captain's key, so let's go into the captain's office. Shall we? Sorry about the, the whipping the mouse around, but I do tend to like to quickly look in corners that I forgot to look in. Also, I appreciate that the elevators here are short. Short like the mines of Minolta. Now picture this. Let's picnic inside a morgue so it, just so I can make a weird forced pun. Okay. So, you may wonder, Finn, when you're gonna get a sword? Well, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. The sword is awarded to the captain of the Baron's Guard for valor and fealty. Long live the Baron. Oh. Activity log, captain of the guard, Southgate District. Some maniac tore the bookseller to ribbons and left him laying there in a pool of entrails. The crime scene is boarded up until we can get someone in there to pop that wall safe, hoping we'll find a clue, or at least a nice donation for the officer's retirement and dismemberment fund. <laughs> <laughs> the guard are on high alert in the meantime, with orders to arrest suspicious characters for questioning. When I said suspicious characters, I meant street people, gypsies, or creepy-looking guys dressed in black. I did not mean a troop of annoying musical thespians. 
thespians. Some kind of power failure has compromised security at that zoo or gallery place. I sent a unit down there hours ago, and most have still not reported back. Still no leads on the murder. I've had no time to investigate with this other mess. I've ordered a lockdown on town gates. No curfew is in order yet. The area is full with tourists for the fest, and I don't want to incite a riot with these drunken idiots. Well, genre savvy there, avoiding the tropes. I have a handful of men making sure nothing gets out that deranged funhouse in the meantime. And because of those miserable tone-deaf minstrels in the tank constantly singing, my stress level is becoming unmanageable. Roar. Well, okay. Perhaps he didn't say war, but I said it. So, yeah. And now that I've got my stuff, I now must move on to... I don't know, some other part of town, most probably. So let's try that, shall we? Awesome. And now we are really coming up across the part where I have started to not have played anything yet. So I think I'll just... Shimmy, 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 shimmy over there. Some nice wizard oil that will cure your rheumatism without you having to stand in a whale at all. Miracle. Miracle. I, I love the flavor here. Oh my god. It's 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 just great. The, the, every, it's just got this snappiness to it. Do you know what I mean? Wow. But yeah, this dude just like, oh, but oh, we're drunk. We don't care about a body. It's all part of the game. Or is it? Oh, man. It's the ornery boar. There's the blue knight. However... There's... Oh, man. Probably just... <laughs> it's a pretty good singing. There's Grimaldi, who is a real-life man, although I don't know if that's a real-life picture of the man himself or what, but... Oh, well. Last, my last act is going to be to go through here, possibly, and go through here. Possibly, yeah. Alright, uh, and there's a soaping. It cleans up stains. I don't know. There's a hammer. Hmm, I think I, I think I'm missing like a funny little tidbit or something, but I don't know. I don't remember, so I'm just gonna leave it here for now, and uh, see you guys next time for the fun. And bye for now. This is the part at the end that I forgot to put in where you click the buttons. I, I don't know. <laughs>